Welcome back, everyone. I'm on the carpet. It is awesome. And I'm with the key of awesome. That's right. That is right. How are you guys? I don't know where to look. There's too many of you. Well, there, well it takes a lot of people to make us this awesome. So, you know, we got the whole crew representing tonight. Uh, me and Doug and Stasia are going to be performing tonight. And, and then uh, these are just like the others. Yeah, I'm Todd. And uh, who are you wearing, by the way? Um, it's an independent and indie designer. H&M? <laughs> I've heard of them. You are horrible. Actually, it's from a boutique in New York, okay? A lady doesn't give away her secrets. Uh, that's fair enough. So what are you performing? What are you going to be uh, doing on the stage here tonight? We're going to be doing a song called Eat It, Don't Tweet It. We never say that in the actual song. But it's all about the phenomenon of people taking pictures of their food and posting them on Instagram and various social medias and how obnoxious that can be. It's very so. apropos for today. Yeah, we thought so, you know. <laughs> what does it mean for you to be here at the Webby Awards? It's just a magical evening, really. <laughs> it's everything I ever dreamed. <laughs> and what are you wearing? Uh, also an independent designer from an unnamed <laughs> boutique in New York City. <laughs> That's the way we're rolling tonight. I'm wearing Gap. Uh, yeah, it's all pretty much Gap, and this is—I think this is Banana Republic. The the web budget. Yeah, yeah, totally. We don't we don't really have. Who are you excited to see? I just met Scumbag Steve, uh, and yeah. the guy who created the, the Neon Cat. Oh my God! I want to punch that guy. <laughs> <laughs> For punching him. I want to, is that after this? Punch him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so once I interview you, I'm going to send you over to the social media suite, and all of you are going to tweet that you're live so you can create that domino effect oh, yeah, so you can share wonderful. with all your friends how amazing the Webbies are. By the way, this is Tom Small. Hi there. He's the guy who makes us look good. Oh. He's the one who does all the hard editing and shooting so that we don't look like idiots. Oh, well, that's, it's all about the people behind the scenes. They count, too. Well, we don't let him out very often, so he's here. <laughs> well, really political and Key of Awesome and all you guys have changed so much over the years. You know, uh, what's going on now and what does the future hold? Well, we were barely political and then we were like almost just, just barely, barely political. We started doing pop music parodies and, and different stuff and pop culture. But we just did a Romney video that's doing really well. So I think as the election heats up, we might get a little less barely political and start doing more political stuff. And, you know, sky's the limit. So optimistic. Whatever's funny, we do, you know? We try not to put too many barriers on it. What does it, it take to create a great political satire? Uh, well, you gotta watch the news a lot, so I've been trying to do more of that. <laughs> Good impressions. Yeah. You gotta be able to talk oh, like Oh, whoa, 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 you just... That's very important, having a funny politician to make fun of. Yeah, 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 Romney's pretty good. Thank God, America, thank you. Yeah, Romney would be great for comedy if he became our president. So that's, an, that's one way of looking at it. <laughs> it's really convenient for us because Mark already kind of looks like him. So I, we really hope he picks a running mate that looks like me. All right, can we do, because you, you, they do great impressions. Give me like a, a great, awesome impression. Something for our audience today. Uh, <laughs> like, do Michael Caine getting a Webby? Okay. I just got a Webby and I'm not sure what it is. I was supposed to do five word speech, but I don't, I, f I believe I've overpassed that. It's not enough time for me to accept the award. I'm just blabbing, blah, blah, blah. And on that note, Kia Awesome. Thank you so much.